The oceans, beautiful, aren't they? For us, they've also always been something more. A living larder, and a big one too. In fact, they've been a key source of protein for thousands of years. Unfortunately, over time, our demand has led to a few problems. You see, once upon a time, a much smaller human population used simple tools to fish and so only put light pressure on stocks. However, things began to change. To meet the demands of a growing population, we developed more sophisticated methods to catch fish faster and more easily. We built more boats and travelled farther and farther to find fish. With too many boats, too few regulations and not enough policing, fishing practices became excessive and destructive. We were putting in more effort, but catching less fish. Stocks were declining. The oceans were reaching a critical tipping point. Then, in 2012, world leaders met in Rio. Across the world, People called for action on the oceans, demanding stronger rules, catch limits and effective policing. Thankfully, governments agreed that from now on, both overfishing and illegal fishing had to end. Harmful subsidies should be phased out and vulnerable marine ecosystems must be protected. To ensure that this all isn't just words on a page, action for the ocean is needed now more than ever. Governments must be held accountable to act upon their commitments. It's therefore important that citizens urge their governments to take the necessary actions and base their decisions on sound science. Currently, up to 73 million sharks from all marine habitats are killed each year, most of them just for their fins. The vast high seas, covering nearly half the Earth, are still dangerously unprotected and the site of much of the illegal fishing activity that occurs. In addition, managers need to use science-based decision-making to rebuild overfished tuna populations and safeguard the remaining healthy ones. And vulnerable ecosystems such as coral reefs and deep sea corals remain under threat from the catastrophic effects of ocean acidification and destructive industrial fishing methods like deep sea bottom trawling. The future of the oceans can't be left to chance. Governments need to act locally and globally to make significant changes to the way we treat and use the ocean. Solving the problems we currently face is possible. Visit our website to learn more about what you can do to ensure a sustainable future for the oceans.